Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general forecast for the month of February. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, this will be a general forecast, but we're going to take the energies as they come. So it could be about love. It could be general, family, career, finance, friend. It could be anything, anything. So we're just going to take it as it comes. So please only take what resonates. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. It could be past, present, or future. Um could be someone around you going through something that's affecting you. So however it resonates for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus or Jupiter. It depends if there's some love involved. I'll say Venus if I feel it's more uh, general than Jupiter. So, okay. So if you have Scorpio and any of those placements. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season having a happy new year so let's see what's going on for you scorpio at this time i do say at this time i do consider all my readings timeless so if you'd like to watch past readings your links to your playlists are down below in the description box your love in general readings so if you'd like to check that out as well as decks i'm using social media how to reach out for personal reading um if you'd like to send a gift or tip or donate all that information is down below in the description box and i will post some of that information to the top comment uh pin it also there for uh some information so all right so let's see what's going on with scorpio this is a astrology deck so <laughs> i was just gonna say we get a sign element or planet and we got a planet so we got mars so this is aries energy it's a very it can be an aggressive energy but it doesn't have to be but this is just that energy of moving forward a lot of drive ambition passion go-getter um kind of energy it can be, you know, very competitive, assertive, um, just courageous and confident kind of energy. You know, the Aries in the tarot is the emperor, which is that go-getter, very dri driven, ambitious, boss kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Or you could have an Aries around you. You could have it in your chart or something like that. All right, so let's see. First thing I'm going to do here is get an overall message. Like an opening message for you and then we'll pull one for your energy and then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot and then we'll get a look at the actual situation and why that energy is here and we'll get advice for that energy possible outcome and then we'll get some closing messages from this cute deck here how cute that is that is a tarot slash oracle kind of deck get some closing messages from that deck so Scorpio, let's see what kind of, well, let's get your opening message, your opening message, I was getting ahead of myself there, opening message for Scorpio, okay, that one wanted to pop out, Scorpio, what do we have, well, we have choose wisely, the seven of cups, so you could have options, decisions, uh, feeling kind of cloudy, well, I don't want to say delusional, but maybe a little confused, um, needing to make a choice of some kind, so you really need to weigh out all your options, your pros and cons, and really think about things clearly and choose wisely whatever decision you have to make here. So we'll see. I mean, it could be about love because cups is about love. doesn't have to be. So we'll see. So let's see um, what your current energy is. So your opening message is to choose wisely. So some sort of decision here, choice, options, weighing the pros and cons looking at every option and make sure you make the right choice. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles. Oh, five of pentacles, sorry. Financial and material changes. So you could be going, you know, the five of pentacles is about career, finances, monetary, material things. And, you know, in a usual deck, it talks about lack, poverty, you know, left out in the cold, abandonment kind of energy. So you're going some through some sort of financial and material changes. Maybe you do have a little bit of a financial lack right now. So you really, really need to um, really take control of your finances maybe and choose how you're spending wisely, like really, really control and look at what you're spending and how you're spending and what you can cut back on and how you can save and how you can um, change maybe your spending habits really needing to take control over that energy. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. So we have Solitude 9, which is um, Virgo energy here, which is the Hermit. 
Yeah, so you really need to spend, and you see like reviewing your books here. <laughs> so maybe you even need to get a financial advisor. So uh, yeah, you really need to go over your books, over your finances. You really need to spend some quality time looking over where you're spending, how you're spending, uh, what you're spending on, and really make some deep, deep uh, changes here. Because for some reason you, you may have material or financial lack right now. Um, and you really need to take control over that. Or it could be somebody around you. Maybe they're making not making wise choices when it comes to spending. Um, because we have seven, five, nine. Those are all numbers, odd numbers. They are not numbers of balance. So something's out of balance here. And it may be your financial situation. Maybe your checkbook isn't even balanced. So, I mean... <laughs> I think really needing to take control over that. Especially if you're running your own business of some kind and you don't really pay attention to your finances. Uh, I think I think you need to pay more attention to that. All right. Maybe you think, oh, everything's fine, you know, you know, and then you don't really like balance out your checkbooks, you don't really keep a ledger or anything like that. Maybe it confuses you, maybe you're not just good with numbers. And you look at you look at it like oh, I I just don't know, so maybe you need to uh, hire a financial advisor or a bookkeeper or something like that. Odd messages that come out here, but hey, it is what it is. So if this doesn't resonate for you, then then it's probably not your reading. But um, and you don't have to be a business owner. Maybe you know you're just bad with finances, and maybe you you know need help in some way. So let's see why all this energy is here. Because I see like two birds here. So I see like, and two is usually about, you know, people that come together. So I feel like you may need somebody to help you. King of Pentacles. Exactly. Wow. I could not, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Seriously. <laughs> King of Pentacles is somebody who is good in finances. Who is smart, analytical, practical. Could be a financial advisor or something like that very good with finances money he's the king of pentacles wow okay <laughs> or are you just needing to get control over that energy yeah needing to make a decision here with the judgment that's your energy scorpio I, I just can't make this up you're needing to make a decision about what to do here a final judgment call and decision do i reach out for help to help me here or do I just kind of struggle struggle on my own <laughs> struggle on my own in solitude and be looked at my books like oh my god I'm just like I so confused okay so let's uh, get more energy here nine of Pentacles so you know you could be thinking you know I'm secure I'm abundant um, you know I make my money I can take care of myself I'm, I don't really worry about anything you know, I have abundance coming into me, but you may not be managing it well, and you may not even truly know your financial situation because you don't really take the time to look. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. So, you know, thinking everything is balanced, you know, thinking, you know, I can take care of myself. You know, I have everything I need. I'm abundant. I'm successful. I'm independent. Now we have the Knight of pentacles energy here so you know moving forward so let's get one more because the knight of pentacles moves forward he's very practically smart and anal analytical takes his time he doesn't make harsh decisions he's very very smart and practical chooses he does choose wisely to a sword so mental blockage here so you're you could be blocked about making a decision on whether or not to bring somebody in here who can help you move forward in a better way to balance, to even more success and abundance that someone who is very smart, practical, and good with finances to help you in your financial situation. So this is heavily about uh, finances here. Somebody's not good with finances and they just don't take the time to uh, deal with it. Okay, but somebody needs to, somebody needs to here. So let's see, let's get uh, 
actual situation now. Ace of Cups, so brand new beginning. Usually that's in love, but we'll see where this goes. The Hierophant. So that, you know, is commitment, marriage, doing what's moral, just and right, structure. I'm feeling like you need structure. As much as you feel fulfilled, abundant, uh, spiritually filled, just in love with life and how your life is going, you know, it could be, this could be a brand new beginning that you ventured out on feeling fulfilled, you know, but somehow you need structure and balance here. The devil. Yeah. Toxic energy here. The devil. And it doesn't have to be toxic devil like energy. It could just be that energy of like, you know, I just don't want to deal with it. You know, like, I don't know. Let's get a couple more here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. So five of pentacles on the five of pentacles. Yeah. So you could seriously be having some financial losses here and you're not even realizing it because you don't take the time to deal with the financial aspect of your life, your cooperation, your business, whatever you're doing here. And that could be the devil energy is just not dealing with it. Like, you know, everything will just work out in the long run, you know, but you got the five of pentacles again on the five of pentacles. So yeah, you could be losing money behind the scenes and you don't even know it with that, you know, devil energy there and you just refuse to see it. Like you don't want to deal with it or you don't know it because you're not paying attention to what's going on. Page of swords. So open, honest, truthful communication here. Someone needs to do some re deep down research, the page of swords. They really need to look with truth and clarity and realize and they need to be told the truth that, look, you need to really pay attention to this. You, you may just be all caught up in like loving life, loving where you are, being happy, joyous, fulfilled in every way with that Ace of Cups energy. Um, but the truth is that somebody needs to look into where the money is going, why things are, you know, things are balancing out, but either you don't know or you know it, but you're just not dealing with it, like with that devil energy. It could be somebody around you that's taking money from you and you don't even know it. You think they're trustworthy with the Hierophant energy and they may not be. And somebody needs to, you may hire, have to hire somebody to spy on this person to find out what's going on here. Well, it's kind of an odd message, but again, this may not be for any everybody, but if this resonates for you in some way, shape or form, uh, then take it how it resonates for you. So we have the Six of Cups. So this could be somebody you trust. It could be a close friend, co-worker, even a family member. you got the higher fit in the Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups. So this is somebody that you love and you cherish and you trust. You could have known them forever. Like I said, family, friend, co-worker that you've known forever. You just trust them with everything you have. As you see, you know, the sun here... <clears throat> This is your advice for this situation. You got the sun, though, which is happiness and joy, victory in every single way, enlightenment, healing. I mean, it's everything positive with the sun. You got the four ones, stability in your home life, all the way around, your foundation, celebrating ceremonies. So, and the lovers. Wow. So, wow. So, <laughs> I mean, that usually talks about soulmates or making a choice. Actually, what I'm getting now is that if someone's deceiving you that you've known for a very long time, that you've trusted, I think the truth will come out. Or you need to turn to somebody that you've known for a very, very long time that you know is trustworthy, they're structured, um, you cherish them. It could be an old family member, friend, co-worker or something here, someone you've known from childhood that can bring in this enlightenment to you bring you more success, victory, peace, hope, harmony, and you'd be much more stable if you make that choice. Could even be a past lover. Maybe you know was a financial advisor or was good with finances or something like that. And maybe you're afraid to turn to them because, well, that was an ex-lover. I really don't want to do that. 
but I think they would help you. It doesn't necessarily mean like you would re reunite as lovers. Maybe if you're single, because the nine of pentacles there is a single energy. So, I mean, you do have pen potential here to, if you are needing help in a business or just your life financially, whatever, to get your finances in order, you could reunite with a past soulmate who was good with finances or a financial advisor or a bookkeeper or <clears throat> accountant or something like that. You could come back into soulmate union. This could possibly be a twil twin flame connection coming back into union. If you make that judgment call to reach out for help here. And you may have to do research online to find this person. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Or maybe they own a business, you know, and they can help you. You know they could help you in some way. So let's see what the possible outcome, possible outcome here. The Five of Swords. Ew. Five of Swords energy. And the Empress. Let's get one more. I mean, the I don't like that energy of the Five of Swords, but let's see. And the Tower. So the outcome here is uh, Five of Swords energy is like getting ahead at all costs, not really caring how you do it, who you do it to, when you do it, just very egocentric energy. But the Empress is someone who is gives birth to new things, um, an entrepreneur kind of energy could be, knowing you value your worth. But then the tower comes in here to uh, shake something up quickly. So I feel like, you know, as much as you're getting ahead and you're like, oh, I'm just getting ahead, you know, I don't care what's happening behind the scenes, I'm doing good. You know, I'm this emperor, empress, I'm in charge, i am got my own business going, whatever. I don't really pay attention to anything else. But then all of a sudden the tower's going to come in here to shake something up. So either something's going to happen and you're going to realize, okay, I need to pay more attention to my finances, my spending, or something here. Maybe something happens that breaks the bank and you're like, oh my God, what happened? And you're not realizing you're spending too much or you're, you know, you're not saving enough or you're not investing wisely or something like that. And then decision time here, you really need to decide, is it time for me to reach out for help? And it could be to a past person who was a past lover, soulmate, twin flame, and you could come back into union with this person if they're single too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. So there's a solid offer coming in or communication going out. So someone extending out or reaching out in a stable way. Communication. The moon, you know, not seeing things clearly. I don't know how this will work out. Will they help me? Should I reach out for help? Feeling a little, feeling a little disillusioned and like blah, like I don't know what I should do. Should I? Shouldn't I? But knowing, you know, things you need to work on something here, something needs work and you know you can't do it alone. You know you need to make plans and decisions moving forward. You know, even though you're moving forward a lot to drive ambition, but sometimes maybe you've done some foolish things here with the fool energy and now you can't go back and fix it and now you need help. So you may be reaching out to an entrepreneur, someone who owns their own business, somebody who's very smart, practical, um, creative entrepreneur kind of energy because you can't retrace and go back and erase all those foolish things you've done because maybe you're just rushing ahead with the knight of wands energy is going for it just going you know making plans decisions maybe you know without really thinking too clearly or choosing wisely just making you know plans decisions moving forward when you really needed to take the time to look at every aspect um on every situation and now feeling in a Four of Cups energy. I don't know what to do. Should I reach out? Should I just, you know, sit here and look at my books and say, I just don't know what to do anymore. Not seeing the path clearly, perhaps. But eventually someone will reach out. Or maybe somebody knows you're struggling and they reach out. So definitely energy here. Something stable. Message coming in or out. So for the other energy, we have Aries, we have um, Leo Sag Aries, Aquarius, Leo Sag Aries, um, Cancer Pisces, 
Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We have Virgo over there. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We have uh, your energy there, Scorpio. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Uh, let's see here. Taurus Capricorn. Libra Gemini Aquarius. Leo. Gemini. Aries. The Empress there is um, Libra Taurus. So a lot of different energies. Wow, Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so let's get some closing messages here for you, Scorpio. And I do ask Scorpio if you are new. Um, check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's get some closing messages for Scorpio in your situation here. Scorpio, Scorpio, some closing messages for Scorpio spirit, please. Thank you so much. For Scorpio. Wow, we have the Ten of Summer. This has been coming out a lot. Prairie Dog, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family of close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. Wow, this, if you're single, maybe you don't even have children, you're not even a mother, you don't even have family. I mean, you could be a young entrepreneur here. And if you reach out to a past lover or soulmate, possible twin flame here, for help and they're single this could lead to happiness abundance a family for the long term here like reuniting with that long lost soulmate wow okay again this is not going to resonate for everybody so all right so let's get one more let's get a couple more and then we'll go over the bottom of the deck for scorpio oh my god we got the four of wands again otter it's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. Four of Wands is always the twin flame number for me, and we had it over here too, so we got that twice. So that's double confirmation that by you reaching out could lead to <laughs> coming together with your soulmate twin flame, being much more secure, abundant, successful, stable, happy home and family. Wow. Wow. It's a lot of energy. Okay, so let's get one more. Now we got the King of Summer. And that's your energy. Warm-hearted, devoted, loving, faithful. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Penguin. A trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. I cannot make this up. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who sparks, speaks directly from the heart. There may be sparks flying between the two of you once again. <laughs> I said spark instead of speak so you definitely could have sparks flying once you see this person you see them again you reach out or for some reason they reach out to you and it's like here come the sparks woohoo <laughs> all right so and we have unity oh my god this is the hierophant again we have the hierophant right here so double conf confirmation here taurus polar bear embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. So this could lead to long-term commitment, marriage of some kind. Wow, Scorpio. Wow. I hope this resonates for somebody. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your situation is. Wow. All right. Best of luck to you, Scorpio. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.